Hi guys, and welcome to episode 1 on Mulroy Bay. Now, as I said in the warm-up warm video, <laughs> new start video, whatever you want to call it, Mulroy Bay is storyline based. And basically, Grandad has lost all of his workers, the farm has fallen into disrepute, He's only got two fields left that crop. Um, everything else is down to grass. So we're here. As you can see, times is hard. We've only 679 pounds in the bank. And we've got to get this farm back up and running. So we'll pop round and we'll see Grandad. And see what first job is. <laughs> Crack on with the harvest down in the bottom field. And probably sell the crop direct just to get some money in and get us ready and going. Excellent. Yes, unfortunately, Grandad has found life a bit hard lately. Um, he did have an awful lot of workers working for him. And slowly but surely, he's managed to sicken everybody off. And can no longer work for the man. He is a bit arrogant. Um, basically says it how it is. Get the job done or go home. I.e. if you go home, don't come back. <laughs> Real tough old character. Um, not afraid to give his point of view and certainly not bothered who he upsets along the way. But he's, he's kept it going for as long as he can with the two crops, uh, two arable fields, and just basically try to keep the herd of dairy cows going. He's few sheep that he's got, and obviously the eggs off the chickens that are just free range running around the farm. You know, he's, he's been taken over, he's kept managed to keep on top of life around the farm. However, he's asked us to come in and try and resurrect the farm, turn some of these grass fields back into arable, and get some prime stock of animals back up to 100% fitness build those bloodlines up again now there is two of the grandchildren um, get up Charlie, the combine driver, or should I say harvester driver, anything regarding harvesting, Charlie loves. Oh, there we go, wrecked the header on the first attempt. <laughs> and the other one, he's a bit daft, but he's a blooming good worker. Um, Paul. He'll do just about anything, turn his hand to anything. Um, if you hadn't realised who I'm on about, it's auto combine and course play. <laughs> Crazy ball as uh, David Oldfield 
likes to call him. Oh, Crazy Pete, that was it. Yeah, Crazy Pete. Um, Course play and Charlie being Reefy 1952's alcoholic Charlie. <laughs> Auto combine. Um, although I love doing all of this kind of work by myself. A farm this size just isn't going to run by itself. Uh, no way at all. But we'll take our daily orders from Grandad and probably going to fall out with them one or two times. It's inevitable. <laughs> um, he has got some tremendous equipment. But unfortunately at the moment he can't pay anybody to operate them. We are working for nothing. Charlie and Paul haven't turned up yet. Oh, I've got the trailer. Didn't mean to do that. And I'm probably going to reverse into the other tractor, which I can't see. It's always nice when you can jump out of the cab. Yeah, we can't afford the workers yet, so we need to crack on with this harvest and sell the crop. And hopefully we can bring Charlie and Paul up to help us out on this farm. Just lift that header up a touch. So I think what we'll do is I'll time lapse the rest of this harvest and I'll see you at the end of the video. Enjoy! So there we go, we're just coming to the last little bit now. Hopefully Grandad will be pleased with our nice straight lines. Not that they're very straight. He shouldn't know that. Because he can't really leave the house at the moment. It seems to be going well. And... Sorry about that, that was my phone. <laughs> Field number one done. Actually, it's not number one. Um, it's field 18. See, so we're down to 400 pounds in the bank. Obviously, with using a lot of expensive equipment, you have a high maintenance bill. Not to worry, we shall sell the grain as soon as we can. Do we have a price? Barley is 309 Biosa Energy. Three eighteen at the grain mill. So it looks like it's the grain mill. Not a fantastic yield of this field. But at least we've got it harvested and it's not rotting in the field. And I don't think we're quite gonna get every last little oh, are we? Oh, no, no, no. Gutted. <laughs> and 
stick the chopper on. I'll just nab these two a little bit. And we'll whack the pipe out. Turn that off. Judge it in carb without hitting the vent. <coughs> Sorry, guys. <coughs> and there we go. Bring glance back up, and you can see we have around about sixteen thousand liters. <coughs> Sorry about that. Oh, yes, very nice. Nearly 17,000 litres. <coughs> Sounds like I'm about to lose my voice. <coughs> Looks like I've got the header trailer the wrong way around. So what we'll do is, we'll shut that down for now. Jump out. Yep. Yeah. And we'll jump in here. Just get this case out of the way and we'll go off and sell some barley in the fend. <coughs> Before I lose my voice I think, I'll pick up this a little bit. Yeah, there we go. We'll turn the baler off, turn the tractor off. door and because we're getting a bit fat <laughs> we'll jump out no we'll jump out close the door and lock it up and we'll jump in the fence and we'll go for a drive Excellent. Stick some beacons on. Now, I do have a rather shaky cab on this vent. Um, I think that drive control is fighting with OEB's real terrain. So I'll get that sorted out. No traffic on the map, I don't think. And I'm sure the old mill is this one up here. Hammer down, and off to the old mill to sell this barley. this in here hopefully we get a decent price for it where's I back window there we go there we go not too shabby 5362 for that load next field is actually up the way here. So, 
we leave the fend here. And I'm gonna jump down to the Hurleyman. That's the job. And I'm actually gonna call it an episode here. We'll pick the header up of the combine in the next episode. And we'll harvest the other field. Um, the other field being up by the farm, field 11. Bring the cursor up. This funny shaped field here. 11 and 18 are the only two arable fields we have. Everything else, grass. You can, I'll just shut that down. You can, what's the word I'm looking for? Direct drill over the top of the grass. Um, it has this awesome grass texture. Run through the play park here. Yep, awesome grass texture. Um, and it will allow you to sow direct into this field. Or any of the fields, they're all the same. However, I think we're going to do it properly. And we're going to break out a plow. Plow. And then drill it afterwards. So anyway guys, thank you for watching. This was the first episode on Mulroy Bay V2. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, consider leaving a like. It's much appreciated. Um, as always, be kind with your comments. <laughs> and yeah. Thanks for watching guys. I've been Shawnee B. And you've been watching Mulroy Bay. Bye for now.